Hi, my name is Onisha. I'm Maria. And we're going to be doing the circulatory system. The circulatory system is responsible for transporting materials throughout the entire body. It transports nutrition, water, and oxygen to your billions of body cells and carries away waste, such as carbon dioxide, the body cells produced. It is an amazing highway that travels through your entire body, connecting all your body cells. Parts of the circulatory system are divided into three major parts. One, the heart, two, the blood, and three, the blood vessels. The human heart is a fist-sized organ contained inside a sac called pericardium. It is divided into four chambers, two upper chambers termed atria and two lower chambers called ventricles. Through rhythmic contractions and relaxations of cardiac muscles, the two major functions performed by the heart are, one, collecting deoxygenated blood from the body and pumping it to the lungs for oxygenation. This is achieved through the pulmonary circuit, which includes the right atrium and ventricle. The oxygenated blood enters the right atrium through the superior vena cava and is pumped into the heart ventricle through the tricuspid valve. Ventricle contraction pumps this blood to the lungs through the pulmonary valve and pulmonary arteries. Two, receiving oxygenated blood from the lungs and pumping it into the entire body. This is achieved through the systematic circuit which includes the left atrium and ventricle. Oxygenated blood from the lungs is received in the left atrium through the porn pulmonary veins and is pumped into the left ventricle throughout the bicuspid valve. Ventricle contractions then pumps this oxygenated blood into the aorta through the aortic valve and is supplied to the entire body. Blood is a type of fluid connective tissue and comprises an array of cells called plasma. Blood serves as a transport medium for cells and molecules of the body. It transports oxygen from the lungs to every single cell of the body, carbon dioxide from each cell to the lungs, nutrients and glucose from the digestive system to the liver and other organs, metabolic waste from different organs to the kidneys, hormones from the endocrine glands to different effector organs. Apart from transportation, the components of blood plays an important role in several homeostatic mechanisms including the regulation of body temperature, food and water balance, iron content, osmotic balance of cells, and etc. Blood vessels serve as the means for accomplishing the various transport functions of blood. The network of blood vessels provides a route for blood to reach every organ of the body, arteries, veins, and capillaries are the main components of this network. Arteries are the vessels involved in transport of oxygenated blood from the heart to different organs through its branches called arterioles. Veins, in contrast, collect deoxygenated blood from the different organs through branches termed venules and carry it back to the heart. Capillaries are the thinnest blood vessels and connect the venules and arterioles. It is the capillaries which serve as the actual site for exchange of nutrients between blood and tissues. Okay. The heart, blood, and blood vessels makes up the cardiovascular components of the circulatory system. It includes the pulmonary circulation, a loop through the lungs where blood is oxygenated. It also incorporates the systematic circulation which runs through the rest of the body to, to provide oxygenated blood. In the average, humans, about 2,000 gallons of blood travel daily through about 60,000 miles of blood vessels. An average adult has five to six quarts of blood, which is made up of plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. In addition to blood, the circulatory system moves lymph, which is a clear fluid that helps rid the body of unwanted materials. There are three types of blood vessels, arteries, capillaries, and veins. Arteries are blood vessels that carry oxygen-rich blood away from the heart. Capillaries are tiny blood vessels as thin or thinner than the hairs on your head. Capillaries connect arteries to veins. 
Food substances, oxygen, and waste pass in and out of your blood through the capillary walls. Veins carry blood black back toward your heart. Cardiologists are specialists who are certified to diagnose, treat, and prevent diseases of the heart, arteries, and veins. Cardiologists are certified by the American Board of Internal Medicine after meeting educational and practice requirements. Before being certified as cardiologists, those aspiring to this speciality must be certified in internal medicine. Then, cardiologists can become certified in one of several cardi cardiology subspecialties, including transport cardiology, cardiovascular disease, clinical cardiac, electrophysiology, and interventional cardiology. The structural and functional integrity of every component of the circulatory system is equally important for a healthy survival. This is the end of our circulatory system.